Yo, hi everyone, Marcel Fischer here again and today we will have a look at the times in game compared to the times in real life and we are starting in Bahrain. Verstappen's pole was a 28.9, the TT world record time at the moment is a 23.9 and the 110 AI drove a 24.3. As you can see the times are 5 seconds and 4.6 seconds faster than in real life and that's a really big difference and I don't know why this is so and as you look at the fastest sector times in the first sector in real life they are 1 second slower in the second sector about 2 seconds and also 1 to 1.5 seconds slower in the last sector and that's a really really big difference and I don't know why it's so far off from the times in the game. So again for Spain we have a look at the times and here you can see as well that the difference is 2.6 and 2.7 seconds compared to the times uh, in the game. It's definitely closer to the Bahrain times but it's also quite far off two and a half seconds is a big difference and you can see here the first sector they are about half a second slower in the middle sector one second and another second in the third sector and yeah i think that the cars in real life have less downforce than the cars in the game so we have another look at monaco the stump's pole was a 10.3 the top Time trial time is a 7 0 and 110% the eye drove is 7.8. So, again, for Monaco, um, it's 3.3 seconds and 2.5 seconds for the 110% AI. So, that's also quite a big difference. And in Monaco, I know that you can drive different than to real life. You can just jump over the sausage curbs, which I can't do in real life. But yeah, also here compared to the fastest uh, sector times in real life, there's quite a difference in the last sector, just about one second. And yeah, now we we'll have a look at Baku and there is the gap again much bigger. Verstappen drove a 41.2 as pole and the time trial time is a 35.9 and the AI drove a 36.1. And again, the time difference is about 5 seconds. And I don't know why this happens, because 5 seconds is such a big gap. And yeah, I just think that the cars in the game have way more downforce than in real life. Because as you look at the times in the second sector, in real life they are 2 seconds slower. And in the first and uh, last sector, now in the first sector it's just about one and a half and in the last sector about one second. So I think the cars in game also have a bit more uh, power from the engine. Now we have a look at France. Verstappen's pole 29.9, TT time 26.5 and the AI time is 26.7. So uh, as you see the uh, top time trial times compared to the AI times are quite the same maybe the TT times are a bit faster um, but it's not a big difference but also at front 3.4 seconds uh, difference to <coughs> real life and here you can see that the biggest gap is in the third sector again where you need downforce in France so that's also why I think that the cars in real life have less downforce than in the new game maybe they patch it I have no idea. I record this video at 15th July with the version 1.03. So now we look at Styria and just at Styria, not at Austria, because in the game they used the tires they used at Styria and for the Austrian GP also at the same track they used different tires. So yeah, as you know, uh, Austria is a shorter track, just 10 turns and I think just 1, 2, 3, four five six where you break so the times are closer to reality but as you saw the time trial time is much slower than the 100% AI time so yeah and also here in the first sector is 0.6 seconds different so I think the cars in the game have more power than in real life 
I also calculated the average difference and the difference from the real pole time to the TT times is 3.5 seconds and the average difference from the real pole time to the 110% AI time is 3.4 seconds so this is quite equal um, you can say it's about three and a half seconds on some tracks like Bahrain and Azerbaijan more and on some like Spain and Styria it's a bit less but yeah the cars are way faster in the game than they are in real life I really hope they patch it uh, soon because yeah that's the, the, the gap is just too big and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe so you don't miss any f1 2021 content and i see you soon